Hello everyone, welcome back to some bridge. I'm playing in the BBO free day long today. That's uh, March 28th. And it's a match point tournament, so not not just declare. We're gonna actually be bidding here. I assume it's eight boards, but I can't immediately see that, so whatever. Um, we have a very clear one diamond opening. Enough values to open and diamonds is by far our best suit. We'll raise partner spades here. He has at least five for this one spade bid after an overcall. Um, two spades is probably enough, but the heart shortness is really good, right? Maybe we should consider bidding more, like three spades. He thinks that would show four, huh? Even though this doesn't. I mean, this is just such a great hand. I'm going to bid three spades. Okay. Well, the heart shortness is not as useful as I had hoped, but also not useless. Let's see. We have um, three clubs and a diamond, so that's four tricks outside of Trump. We're going to need six Trump tricks. So we go for this finesse works and straight away we go for a heart who actually the jack that's really exciting news because now I don't have to rough any hearts I can just lose one and I'll be fine Force out the king and the queen 10-8 or whatever remains of those cards are all winners. So... I don't think I can really afford to take the trump finesse. Because I, I fear a club rough. I'm just going to play ace and a spade. Would have worked. All right. You guys can have a heart trick. No club rough coming. Could have made five. I think we should do okay just for being in it, honestly. I don't see BBO players bidding three spades here most of the time. And then they could find a way to go wrong in the play as well. Uh, 10, yeah, 77. See? 10, 20 points? Yes. So we'll open this 2 no trump. Partner likes spades? You got it. <laughs> I, don't, I wish you liked them a little more than that, but fine. Interestingly, we don't need the diamond finesse because we can pitch three diamonds from dummy on uh, clubs and hearts. As long as we're a little bit careful with entries. Doesn't have to be very careful, though, I think. Let's just win this and take a spade to the king. I do have to unblock hearts here. In case when they win the second spade, they play a diamond. I have to win the ace, and now I'm sort of stuck in hand for the last time, so I want to unblock hearts, ready to cash them out. Ugh. All right, well, I guess we're losing four trumps. Thanks for your amazing trump suit, partner. But we have the rest after that. Yeah, I mean, that was never working. Even if I had managed to lead a spade towards the 10, West could just pop with the queen, and then Dummy would have 10-8, and he would have jack-7. We couldn't really avoid losing to the jack and 7. 37, huh? Is anyone making this, or are they just not bidding it because they opened a heart? A heart, a spade, and you're totally stuck for a bid, so you bid three no trump and Gib leaves it in, maybe? 
I can see how a bad auction might lead you to a spot that could be better than... I mean, Four Spades was a good spot, I think. Just doesn't work, and maybe something else does. Anyway, 16 points, we open one no trump. Very happy to not bid this spade suit, right? Some people, you know, if you have a five-guard major, you should bid it. That's not the modern style. And especially with such a trashy suit, I'm very happy to not show it immediately. Wow, this is brave. Unfavorable. Uh, but I'm too chicken to double. I mean, I don't know. I'm probably supposed to, right? No, partner knows about... Yeah, I don't... I mean, these two clubs are probably winners. But I have one, maybe two heart winners and then nothing else. So I have like three winners, which is about what partner would count on. So I don't really have anything extra to double with. Just hope it goes down. Look at this. The, heart, the clubs aren't even coming in. Okay. Partner led a club. What does that tell me? He doesn't want any roughs. He thinks they might want roughs. Is he necessarily long in trumps? No. Like, West easily could have only two, in which case partner would have four. It's certainly possible. But West could have more than that, and on average will. I think we just play along, continue clubs, to prevent or at least limit the diamond roughs. Whoa. Okay, so partner has king third or king fourth of clubs. That's something. Well, in that case, let's tap the dummy. Hopefully partner can get in and do whatever he wants to do. Ugh. It looks like partner might have both of the outstanding trumps. Yeah. Nice. Well, a double would have gone well, but yeah, I understand why partner didn't double himself. Like those those minor suit cards don't look like they're going to be good for a lot of tricks. But the club lead worked out great. Good job, partner. And then declare was too afraid to finesse me for the queen of spades. Apparently, ninety. I didn't. Okay, but if the field opens a spade, East West won't get into this trouble, I guess. I see. I didn't do any. I think I just did like the normal thing and got rewarded because a lot of BBO does not know what the normal thing is. You could pass one spade here if you wanted, but I don't think there's any need to. We're in two no Trump. Three heart tricks, two spades, and two aces. That's seven. I'd like an eighth, please. Um, we could set an eighth up if we duck a spade and find spades 3-3. Three, three. But if spades aren't 3-3, three, three, then we're not really any closer to a an eighth trick. Um... We, we could, rather than ducking, we could, like, play low to the nine, and then that's, the odds are slightly improved because we might solve where the honors are or whatever. But I think it's better to duck a diamond instead because if we duck two diamonds, we're quite likely to set up multiple tricks. And, you know, they can attack clubs, but it shouldn't be too bad. We have six of them, and ace-10 are together, so... I will play the ace here, because there's... If he says, like... If I duck, and the suit is 4-1, I'm definitely going to lose three of them. Whereas playing the ace here, I could actually... Wah! The suit is 5-0. 
Okay, but low to the 10 still works. And then I can play low up to the 9-7, and that sets up one more trick. It gives even caching it to make my life easier. Hmm. So now we have what? One, two, three, four, five more of the eight tricks. We have three losers. I think we're just ducking a spade. Or low to the nine, I guess. The opponents have pitched two spades, one each, right? And they've played two. That's four... And they only started with six, so spades are guaranteed coming in, right? So there's no squeeze in diamonds and clubs because we don't have the entries, but that's fine. Okay, well, we made three. Great news. Surely the field isn't bidding three, are they? Come on, give me my score. Oh, it is eight boards. 91. Okay. Rewarded for good declare play, I guess? This is a pretty gross one heart over call. Like, it's a good hand, it's a good heart suit, but it's just like the shape is terrible. I ha You have to bid it, but it's not something I'm like excited about. So it looks like we're gonna make two? Losing a diamond, three spades, and a heart? Unless something weird happens. Like, maybe if we solved clubs, we could pitch a spade on the clubs, but I doubt it. And they're just taking their tricks. Yes, very reasonable. Rough high here. Even the seven is high, but I'll rough with the king just in case. And claim, draw the trumps, cash a diamond and two clubs. Mm -hmm. Just in case I miscounted diamonds, I could rough this one as well, but I won't because I didn't. Seems like a normal result. 13 points. Here, I mean, you could bid two clubs. The suit's pretty bad. You could double. Missing two hearts, it kind of sucks. You could bid a spade with only four. They're very good spades, so that's not inexcusable. You could pass. I think at favorable, I should do something. Maybe two clubs, maybe a spade. Those are my, my front runners, I think. A spade is more likely to outcompete them in hearts, whereas two clubs immediately takes away more of their room. Might make it harder for them to find their heart fit. I guess I'd rather partner let a spade, so let's try one spade. But I think both choices are somewhat reasonable. Partner likes spades, please leave me alone. <laughs> okay. Eh, clubs would have worked out better. Hmm. So hearts are probably 4-4. Four, four. Not sure what's happening in the spade suit. I have a lot of stuff I have to do, huh? Dummy has 10 points. I have 13. That's 23. 
East shows around 12. West shows around 6. That's 41. So, like, there are only 40 in the deck, and opponents' nominal minimums bring us to 41. So one of them is a little bit light, and they're each pretty close to a minimum. So East has about 12. West has about 6. Um, the hearts are 4-4. Four, four. What do I think about their shape? Does either of them have a singleton club? It could be. If so, I would expect it to be East. Where are the honors? I mean, likely East has the King of Diamonds. It could be that East has both spades. The queen, both spade honors, I mean. But I wouldn't put money on that. However, I think East is fairly likely to have the ace of clubs. And if I think East is also most likely to be short in clubs, then it's reasonably safe to win this and lead a club up to the king. Because it can't go ace rough if I'm right in my, you know. I'm not confident in any of these deductions. But these things that seem true-ish. I guess I might want a dummy re-entry, right? Um, oh no! I was right that if anyone was short in clubs, it was west. Uh, no, I said east, didn't I? Yeah, I was wrong. And they were super short. Well, that explains some of the fact that they were bidding a bit more is... They had some actual shape. Okay, I still make two. A bit of a close run thing. I'm happy to go plus here. I mean, I don't know. Maybe clubs wouldn't have been that much better, but I think it probably would have. The four of clubs is going to be trouble for either black suit contract, but I mean, having nine trumps is a lot better than having seven, right? 75. Okay. Never mind. I'm, I'm a genius. This is 18 points in great shape. I'm happy to open a spade, and I think I will plan to rebid uh, three hearts, a jump shift. Partner bids one no. Okay. Oh no. Partner, you don't have anything. I wish we could have explored for four hearts or if you would just bid it. Now, like, I don't get any damn tricks. I guess I can make the North Hand poison for them by leading this. Yeah, and of course, they let me win it, but. Because um, they don't know that I'm out. And also, even if they did know, it's not the end of the world for them to duck. Because it means now, if they have to let me into dummy once with the Jack of Clubs, I still can't cash diamonds, right? Yeah, down at least one, but maybe two? We exit a spade here. I guess we could afford to cash the hearts. <sighs> exit a spade and... It does sort of matter which spade I exit. Because what... <clears throat> What, one of the opponents will win this spade trick, and they'll have to either lead a minor suit, and dummy will be good, or lead a spade. And if it's East who wins and leads a spade, I might still lose two spade tricks. Because I could, like, lay, say I play the 10 to the jack, East wins, plays a spade to the king. Um, or if I play queen and East has the king, 
And then he can lead low and the jack wins. So what I'd like to do here is guess which honor east is more likely to hold. And exit in a way that makes that awkward to win. But I honestly have no idea, so I'll just play a sm small one. You could play the ace here, and like I guess that is your line to make it. I haven't really been counting, but... I doubt anyone has stiffed the king of spades, so I'll just play low. Okay. They didn't have a spade to play. Or it was the king, sure. All right, I mean, down one's not that bad. I expect this will be like, I don't know, a 30%. Much of the field will probably bid the same way. And if you bid two hearts, uh, okay, maybe it's a 20%, actually. If you bid two hearts, partner passes, and you're doing just fine. 15, okay. This is a good hand. Tuno shows this, I hope? Yes. Both miners. Okay. We pushed them to the three level. That's all I can really ask for. Or all I can really do with this hand, anyway. Partner is leading the miner that isn't the one he prefers. So this is probably shortness? And if so, it should be a singleton, right? Because the three, if you had two and one of them was the three, you would lead the other one. You would lead high-low from a shortness. So I think we don't put in the jack here hoping to, like, preserve the ace over the queen. We just play the ace and give partner a rough. Yeah. I played a high-ish one. Maybe I, sh maybe I could I could have afforded the jack. Um, to make it very clear that what I wanted partner to do was a heart, but I don't think Gib understands that anyway, so it doesn't matter so much. Boo! You make me sick! How dare you? Rough? Oh, right. I don't want a rough. You want a rough. Okay, overtake. Give me the fucking heart rough, please, partner. Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was a joke. Declare also had a stiff heart. Wow, what a shocker. All right. Well, we beat it. That should be worth a solid score, I guess. Um, I'm going to play, by the way, in the Platinum Individual in coming up in a few days. I don't know if they do these all the time or what, but I got a notification about this one. I was like, sure, why not? All right, decent 99.3. What? I didn't do anything genius. Huh. Okay, well, that's pretty cool, I guess. Like, you've got a bid to no here. And then, I don't know, maybe people are just autopiloting the jack here at trick one. Or maybe returning the eight instead of something else upset something delicate in the robot's mechanisms and they play differently against me than against other players. Oh, or maybe other BBO bad players are not finding the overtake of this club. Although I guess that's... Oh, no, it's not fine, because we if, if partner gives us a heart rough, it doesn't work. Yeah, you have to overtake here, so you can give partner another heart rough, or diamond rough. I see. Okay. Well, I didn't do anything genius here, but I just did, like, solid stuff that a decent player should do, and that apparently outscores the field by a margin of 100 to 1. Any of this other stuff surprising? I don't know. We already talked about it. So that's the end of the postmortem. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.